Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Hayden from Locals. Hello. And Discord. And yeah, that too. Yes. You gonna answer your own Discord questions? No. He didn't ask any. How what? dare you! I did it once a year ago, but... It's, it's nearly time for your annual question. Uh, Good how time. was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, ben? Did we play actual Yu-Gi-Oh this week? Yeah, there was uh, in fact a Tuesday this uh, week. There was a Tuesday Locals as mm. much as I want to put that out of my head. <laughs> uh, so this Tuesday <laughs> I played Dragon Maids. That just doesn't work anymore. Uh, like, it works, but it doesn't do enough. <laughs> And even the do enough is not enough. Um, against Hayden, uh, you will see on camera, I game one, draw five hand traps. Mm -hmm. Game two, I draw five hand traps. And game three, I draw five normal summons. Ah, yeah. Perfect. I was like, ah, sick. Awesome. Game one, I got fucking destroyed. Yeah. Game two, I just eventually drew a monster. I misplayed so bad. He did. Uh, game three, he misplayed... And I had like the extender after the normal summon to play through the disruption, and I was like, thank fuck I had that. Um, but then we did draft as well. Um, so draft was uh, yesterday. I did much better this time at draft. Uh, not draft for the new set, draft for retro set. Uh, we did. Oh, I thought you were second. meta gaming and saying what? that like yesterday was um, like as if it was Monday. No, 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 no. I wasn't oh. doing that. Yesterday okay. we had. Uh, the second round of our retro draft. Uh, eventually, videos will come out on the channel. I was say, all that. Content. Uh, just it's now going to be like a month and a half before we do the next one. So why didn't I? Pace why it. didn't I know? Because you went YCS. Yes. <laughs> okay, fair enough. When I yelled at everyone to be like, "Someone do this with me." Okay. Um. So yeah, last night was number two, which was Metal Raiders, because the box is right there in front of us on the on the table. Um. In terms of stuff that I drafted, not too bad. Not too bad. I got a Magician of Faith and a Witch of the Black Forest. Um, so Bragg was in for a big shock when I uh, activated Dark Hole, wiped his board. Uh, then he regained uh, control and I he then attacked over my Witch of the Black Forest. I'm like, search Magician of Faith. He then looks at my graveyard and goes, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so, Should have put that soul release in. Yeah. <laughs> at which point he just stopped summoning. Because he was like, if I just keep summoning, you're just going to like Magician of Faith me. Um, so yeah, good times, good times. Uh, and then today was draft for the next main set, whatever it's called, Legacy of Destruction. Yeah, uh, you've been praying for this set for months and you yes. can't remember what it's called. Yes, because I keep saying it's Light of Destruction or the other one around and, you know, I say all the other sets that yeah. already exist but not the set that this is. Mm. Uh, I drafted okay. I went X1, so my deck was competent. Um, I didn't get any good cards from my draft. Um, I'm sure Bragg will want that illusion that I pulled. Hopefully. Maybe. It Maybe. doesn't actually seem very good in illusions. It's just kind of a wall. Great draft card. Terrible, Terrible. card for actual decks, I think. <laughs> the card um, is good once in its life, and then it's utterly garbage. Yes. Uh, but that was effectively my week. Hmm. Cool. Hayden. Okay. Did I go to Tuesday? I did. You certainly did. We literally <laughs> finished talking about one of the Good point. points of your Good interaction point. on Tuesday. Yeah, cool. Okay, so on Tuesday, I first time in ages because uni stuff. And then, yeah, I played Fuffle because I only play Fuffle. That's the only deck you I have. Guy. Someone I, did request I, your deck profile, by the way. They did? Yeah, it's that viewer right there. Hi, viewer. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> just Hayden he just really wants a profile <laughs> <laughs> yeah um I'll give that eventually um yeah so I play Fluffle then round one was Ben we know how that went I can't remember the rest of the rounds but I didn't win because you know Fluffle was a deck from three five years ago so you know longer than that but that's Way no excuse it got support. The, the support came out three to five years. Oh, no, you got support sooner than that as well. You got yeah. the um, scary dolphin. What's it fucking called? Um, Killer whale? Cruel whale. Cruel whale. The one I'm that surprised goes... he was close. Yeah. That was very surprising. Yeah, close. good job, Jack. Well, I knew it was a whale and I knew it was uh, yeah. mean. <laughs> anyway, continue. Um, today. How'd you do today? Today? Oh, today was great. I love today. So, yeah. Actually... My, 
<laughs> we'll get into mine. Before. Wow. Okay. So, I think I pulled pretty well, to be honest. How I, much ten by did you get? Um, I got enough. Okay. <laughs> I it's did all, look over. Oh, yeah, no, we yeah. pulled like the same amount of tempi cards. Yeah, so every I time I looked over, he had two of the dragon, and I was like, Good "Yeah, luck. yeah." <laughs> it it was fun having two dragon just attack, attack. It couldn't beat over two a of the synchro dragons. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I know dragon. I versed him in the first round. Yeah. I'm fully aware of how his dragons did the thing. Yeah, they go raw. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, my opponent started doing the tempi stuff in their main phase, and I was like. Damn, mm-hmm. you didn't need to do that. Anyway, you've sent a card to grave in your main face, summon my illusion. <laughs> it is now 3,000 attack and can't just drop out battle. Yeah. Good luck to you, sir. Fun. Dear lord. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. so round one was Jake. I destroyed him because... <laughs> we'll get into that. Yeah. Um, I can't remember game two or three very well. I know I lost one of them. You pulled a white swan card, by the way. What, a dragonling? Yeah, he pulled <gasps> a dragonling. Gip, 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 did gip, I? Gip. Yeah. Wait, did you not? No, it was Ethan. No. Oh, yeah. Gip. Sorry, when we were You're driving, Maiden was there and Ethan yeah. was here, and I was like... Same person? Question mark? <laughs> False accusation, or whatever. Um, but yeah, I didn't do too bad. 2-2 two, two is, is fine. For me, anyway. I do a lot of misplaying all the time, so... I'll yeah, take it. Reading cards, who needs Yeah, it? I know, yeah. right? As I alluded to earlier, though, playing a deck that came out in 2017 is no excuse for losing. My bad. Because Jake did the card deck through the same deck that came out. I did! Yes, so my week. Uh, so, being that this format uh, until today uh, is kind of redundant, I decided to run it back, and I was normal summoning Alistar. Yeah, uh, except then I played the white cards, which was a new addition. Um, so See, I added. It worked pretty fucking well. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, so I played the Rev Synchron package, which basically uh, allows you to get Macabre, Crystal Wing, and Therion Regulus on the board uh, within the same turn. And then if you open well enough, you can also get some Nadir Ecclesia Dogmatica nonsense going as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh, so brought that in Tuesday. Um, I can't remember who my matches were other than the last one, uh, which was Voiceless Voice, uh, where I opened Evenly Droplets and uh, they scooped, understandably so. You played me at one point. That was a pretty free win. Yeah, I honestly don't remember what our match was like. Um... Uh, you see, game one, I opened uh, Triple Phantasme. Ah, and yes, against my De- De- normal <laughs> alley, and I was like... Sweet, uh, <laughs> he's gonna have to link one, and then he used Rev Synchron from hand, and I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then I got to do the other thing, um, which is the spice I'll show in my ex- um, my profile, which I'll do, and then the deck will go away forever again. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, I ended up winning on the Tuesday yep. uh, with the deck from 2017. So, huh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow. And then, yeah. Uh, then today, uh, for pre-release, um, I bought a box for pre-release. Uh, my pools were not too bad. I got Deer Bells, I got um, the Snake Eyes Deer Bells. Uh, I also pulled the QCR Silent Magician Zero, uh, which was cool. It's not, not a great card, but it's QCR, so... Sure. Someone will pay money for it. Yeah. I don't know who that person is. Um, I may need to track them down. Um, and then for my pre-release, my packs were fucking awful. I think I got two Ultras. Uh, <laughs> two both Ultras? Them, That's more than me. Both of them real bad. I think both of them combined would not be worth the uh, Tempai Dragon Super that I pulled. Um so like that was Boston. the be- best of what I got because the, pa- the it didn't do anything. My pack didn't do anything. I had to, I could do exactly one thing, which was synchro into the gold pride eradicator. But if you use its effect, it bounces back. And because I didn't pull the gold pride main deck monster, I got zero value. Ah, that there it is. Awesome. So the second I added a problem, I also added the best card in my deck. And also uh, the tempi is being like set up for a seven synchro. And the gold pride synchro being an eight meant I was like super awkwardly trying to do shit. The only thing my deck did consistently all day was uh, loop the level seven dark dragon that summons itself in the end phase. That's all I could do. Okay. And with sure. that, I achieved my only win of the entire day because I prevented myself from decking out. 
Because I pulled two of them, so I just kept looping them, and when they leave the board, they go back to the bottom. <laughs> sure. Okay. That, that was my day. Cool. Um, and then I got the lucky door prize, which was the promo ultra of the QCR I already pulled. I can't wait for you to pull the secret from the box you still have to open. Yes, uh, so video for that will be uh, coming, if not already up. Um, I'm not expecting a QCR because it came from the same case where three other QCRs were pulled. Should have waited. And then got one from the next case. Uh, well, I bought them both at the same time and I had no idea what the pull rate was. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Um, and then, yeah, Master Duel, um, still playing Unchained, although there's an event going on where I can't play Unchained, so it makes me sad. Mm. Uh, so, speaking of which, uh, in Master Duel at the moment they have the Duel Triangle, uh, which is uh, the new festival, uh, where you can choose to play Fusion, Synchro, or Xyz. Um, from what I understand of it, um, you are only versing the other two factions, I guess. Yeah. Um, so if you pick Xyz, you're only versing Synchros and Fusions. Mm -hmm. um, but what uh, I found interesting is that you can earn coin or gem rather in each of the factions so once you've finished one you can move oh, on to another oh. and earn oh, some more that's how it works yeah i better yeah, grind yeah, yeah. them i'm not gonna ask you what you're playing what are you playing Both. you're in your fusion team uh yes i am okay. playing uh Naturi runic oh yes yeah the fusion yeah fusion <laughs> they they have runics i i usually fusion summon a runic and then they scoop so Oh, that works. Yeah. You're playing fusions. No. What? Yeah. See, I play a myriad of decks. You just like to think I go, eh, purple coat. <laughs> Fuck you. You probably play more fusions in Master Duel than I do. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. <laughs> Gem Knights. Oh, yeah. That was the thing. Gem Knight. Oh, God. Uh, anyway, in horror. the uh, Dual Triangle Festival, I had to double check what its name was, um, I am playing Time Thieves, because I like Time Thieves. I'm in Synchros. Okay. I'm playing the fucking, the Yusei deck that I've just had built. Oh, that fucking time. garbage. Oh, wow. Except this time I could take out the cards for once they didn't ban Junk Speeder. Oh, um, true. Wow. So I was like, keep this, put in a Baron, let's go. Nice. <laughs> so my board is like, Baron plus then the thing that soul charges into the pop four. I'm like, sick. Not only my opponent scoop to the Baron. That's yeah, bad. Baron they, does cause problems for me, generally speaking. They yeah. play like, past it's... the Baron. I'm like, uh, 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 pop four. This now is 6,500. And then they scoop. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, so rewards for this event. Um, obviously a bunch of jump, uh, gems, rather. Um, there's also Sark Sleeves, which it hasn't really mentioned here. And Limiter Removal. I love Limiter Removal. Uh, yeah, so that's a new mate base that you can buy. Buy? For, yeah, buy. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100 gems, though. It's oh. cheap. It's cheap. Okay. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, uh, I don't think there's any other news for Master Duel. So, uh, once these tabs decide to wake up. Yeah. Uh, so, obviously, over the course of the weekend, we had the... Uh, Pre, hang on, I've lost my tabs. Who doesn't coordinate these tabs enough, man? No, I really don't. Um, yeah. Here oh. we go. So, uh, with the pre-release rather of the Legacy of Destruction, uh, a bunch of YouTubers got to open some stuff, and as well, we got to open the packs today. Once so, a again, bunch of stuff. They chose YouTubers that had very small followings to do this. Mm. I'm sure your yeah. stuff was in the mail. I'm, I'm sure it's coming. Somewhere. Maybe. I don't know where, but it's coming. Um, but a bunch of uh, of the TCG exclusives got released. Uh, so this one... Wait, this was a TCG exclusive? Yeah. That's the card that I used at Sneak Peek. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, cool. so uh, level 10, Dark Illusion. Uh, as Ben said, it's probably not that good outside of uh, this specific point in time. Uh, it might come up. It's a level 10 Dark, so... I, I only realised at the end of the day it's... Uh, the secondary effects are both once per turn. I thought you only get to use one in only per turn. Yeah, no. Yeah. So like, it's better. You can either special it from hand, or mm -hmm. you can reduce something on the field by fifteen hundred. And if it hits oh. zero, it dies. Oh. It's one effect. You can use both yeah. effects per turn. Okay. I, I thought I could only summon it, or then do the well, the drop. Not do both. Yeah. Yeah. Should have read the card. <laughs> Should have. Yeah. 
Uh, there's a dragon that does bad things. Uh, this card I, was insane. Which one? In sneak peek. This one? Yep. How do you special summon it? Uh, you can summon it with the Tempai dragons from deck. Oh, of course. And then oh, it, wow. on special summon, uh, you can target something in the field, put a counter on it. Uh, it can't be used as an extra egg material. And if it battles the monster with the counter, it dies. Sure. Uh, so you cool. can put it onto illusions and then attack through the illusion and then keep tempying to kill your opponent. Okay. That's another card I didn't and pull, hence dies. I lost. Um, and then there's Haggard Lizardos. Um, it does some stuff. It yeah. drops something drops it, by yeah. the attack of something you banish from. What is the link yeah. card that everyone used to have to play to do that? I can't remember what it was called. There was a link to it's like target something and drop its attack by the attack yeah, of the yeah, thing yeah, it points yeah. to. It's like the disc that points. Uh, oh, no. Clock. Clock. It was under something. Clock yeah. Under, under clock taker? Under clock taker. That's it. What? Yeah, it's a reptile version of under clock taker. Okay. Yeah. Except it can also draw you a card. Hooray. Yay. I lost to it. <laughs> Uh, that was also my app for Tempai. <laughs> I nearly lost because it was on my board. Because <laughs> they just kept attacking into it with illusions, so it didn't go anywhere. That, uh, that is precisely how I lost my when I was, my match when I was XO. <laughs> I was like, sick. Awesome. Uh, we also got some field spell stuff if um, decides to this load. website decides to load. Uh, so uh, a level 4 spellcaster uh, that has to do with the field spell. Um, and then uh, for field spell leaves the field uh, by a card effect, she special summons herself. Um, and then if a field spell that's already face up activates its effect, uh, shuffle a monster that's banished during the graveyard into the deck, or if it's mentioned in the field spell that was activated, you have to special summon it instead. Okay. Yeah. I have yet to work out what deck that's for. Oh, yeah. Invoked. No, because Meltdown doesn't activate outside of the point where it hits the board. Okay. It just sits there. Sure menacingly um and then the field spell that goes with her um is multi-universe i did not see that. uh so activate if you do not control a face up card in your field zone target a field spell that is banished during either graveyard destroy this card and if you do place the targeted card face up in your field zone uh and if a card or cards in the field zone would be destroyed by card effect banish this card from graveyard instead field zone protection mm. yeah Whee! yeah love that it's actually, like, I can see it coming up maybe, but the issue is a lot of field spells do the add-on activation, which this won't trigger. There's also a chaos monster that pops if it dies and there's a field spell in grave. Yeah, uh, precisely this one that I was about to skip yeah. over. I, I um, pulled this, had it in my deck the entire time through sneak peek, didn't realise it was chaos monster until the last round. Ah. Uh, I thought it needed two field spells to summon. No. It, two field spells give it protection. Oh. Yeah, so Big banishes goodness. one of the chaos types to summon, and then uh, if it's destroyed by opponent's card effect, shuffle two of your field spells from your grave or banished into up the deck, two. and destroy up to that many cards your opponent controls. Not a bad card. No. Not a great card, but not a bad card. Great for sneak peek. Not great for real. Yeah. No. Uh, but in general, once I find the link I'm looking for... Too many. There are a lot of links. There's too many links. Many ah, links. yes. Uh, many so links. we alluded to them before, but we actually now have the full um, line for Ashend. Because uh, at first we thought there was only the one fusion and the spell and the trap and it wasn't looking that good. But they actually get another fusion, uh, which is a level 8 pyro. Uh, if it's fusion, someone target a field spell and neither graveyard add it to your hand. At the start of damage step, if this card battles an opponent's pyro monster, destroy that opponent's monster. And if it's your turn, this card can make a second attack in a row. I need, I've got so okay. much deck building that I need to do tonight. Because I've now decks. got this. I've got... I've got to build Pearly. No, you don't. I'm not going to have Tempai for probably a couple of weeks because I only have one of the Super Dragon. Okay. Um, kind of want to build Tempai. A new deck, I know. It's it's weird. It doesn't even fusion summon. There's I no know. penguins involved. What the I fuck? <laughs> um, I'll teach you the way to I'll, out you, Bill. Okay. I'll add it. It's cute. Uh, but they also get a quick play spell, Rekindling of the Ashend. Uh, place an Ashend card that is banished in grave in the bottom of the main deck, except for another copy itself. Target one effect monster your opponent controls negates effects until the end of this turn. They get a negate. Negate. That's and it's not I even heard. in the battle phase like War Rock. I just heard negate. War Rock have a negate? <laughs> yeah, in the battle phase. You, you work this out. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the Master Duel. Yeah. So, uh, full set spoiler for the Legacy of Destruction. 
that this one. one. Yes. I wish to thank Jerome for choosing to make low rarity uh, special in this set. Uh, yeah. I don't give a fuck about literally any secret in this set. Well, that's good. Speaking of which, here are the secrets. Uh, so, Gandora G, the Dragon of Destruction, Silent Magician Zero, Diabelle's the original Sin Keeper. You care about that one? Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Ragnarika, the Evil Seed, Nightmare Apprentice, mm. Centurion Auxilia, uh, Verudus, the Final Bringer of the End Times. That cool. is a, that's a cool name. I like that. A, um, Shining Sarcophagus. It is actually quite good as well. At mm. some point, I'll need to get one. Not any time soon, though, because that card is not going up in price. I thought it would actually be quite expensive. I'll trade in it. Mm. What's the secret? Oh, yeah. It's their rank 10 XCs that negates. Oh, sorry. For some reason, I thought this was the fusion card for Ashen, but it's not. No, oh. no, no. Uh, Shining Sarcophagus, Future Silence, and Ragnarika Blue. Yeah. Uh, and then the Ultras, which are kind of also garbage, but some of them are decent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Silent Swordsman Zero, Gadget no. Trio, no. Snake Eyes the Arbol Star, uh, Celatrice would... Valamonica. So, you... what? That's where you Oh, I played it. I love that card. Not so many things. Oh, Snake Eyes the Arbol? Yeah. yeah. I never summoned I didn't have anything over 3k, yeah. so the second I think you summoned it, I was like, mm, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sephira, the Divine Dragon of the Voiceless Voice. You skipped Light Swan Dragonling. I know. Again. Yeah. I just hate the name of it. It's such a good card. The name is garbage. Uh, Gold fine. Pride Eradicator. Minerva the Athenian Lightsworn. Ragnarika Stag Sovereign. Mm -hmm. Shining Sarcophagus. Nightmare Throne. Wake Up Centurion. Uh, Voroboril the Dragon Undertaker. And Vados the Dragon of Endless Darkness. Um, okay. I guess outside of that, we've got all the Tempai cards with supers and commons, yeah. which is quite Great. absurd. I love that. Um, I'm happy to pay 10 to 15 for my other two white dragons. 20 yeah. is a bit much for a super. Mm, like, I'll wait a yeah. little bit. Yeah. Um, mainly because all these people are like, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta yeah. get it. But, like, they probably don't have a trident dragon to play it with. So. Yeah, you True. Either. Go on they spend haven't asked their friends. fifty on trident dragon. <laughs> they haven't asked Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. You don't pay for trident dragon, you ask a friend. Yeah. That's why me and Jake have a trident dragon. Yeah, because we're friends. Um, so, if anyone didn't see this, uh, for the preview video of Legacy Destruction release, uh, Jerome... The uh, mighty hero Jerome. ...effectively uh, said that there would not be a reprint of uh, Trident Dragion uh, and to ask a friend for them. Uh, so, we saw what was already a $90 to $100 card go through the roof to about $150, $160 a copy. That's not that bad. For well, a one-off. You can nah. play two. You can play two. Or three. And it'd be worth three times more than the entire deck. Yeah. Well, how much was IP? Well, IP. SP? SP. The other one, yeah. Uh, on release, it was 90 to oh. 110. I paid 110. Oh. Okay. And then, and then like, it also two weeks later, it was $150. Ah, oh, okay. Well. And even now, it's probably like still between 180 to $200. Jesus Christ. Mm. Card is absurdly expensive. Mm. You ever just consider that if you sold all your cards, you'd have a house deposit? Sometimes. It's scary to think about. I don't have enough cards. Yeah. I... yeah. Yeah. You should sell your cards. Yeah. And I don't want a you... house. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just more bills. Yeah, uh, <laughs> there's more bills, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, as per usual, all of the Secrets and Ultras also get the QCR treatment, as well as the third iteration of the Magicians of Bonds and Unity, this time in orange. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was time for the next one. But no, nah, not yet. That's the next set. Next This set. is it. This is the last Magician of Bonds and Unity. Remember yeah. when they were the most expensive one? Yeah, I do, because I sold it. <laughs> now it's garbage. Yeah. They're like literally like $2 fucking quarter centuries. It should be real bad. Uh... But yeah, thanks Jerome for... It's okay, you don't need to reprint Trident Dragion because you made everything cheap that I needed. Thank you. You're a great guy, Jerome. No one should ever insult you. <laughs> uh, so, um, over the course of the weekend as well, there was a uh, effectively uh, Konami stream where they revealed a bunch of new stuff, uh, one of which was the Medolce cards. I quite like these. Ooh. They are They're pretty good, good. They are. Uh, yes. Once this decides to wake up. Um, 
Good. So we Got start that. with the Xyz, um, the Dolce Queen Tiara a la Frege. Uh, rank 5, but you're not going to make it with rank 5s, okay. uh, because you just whack it on top of a Medolce Queen Tiara okay. Masu. Yes. Uh, ah. Once per opponent's turn, quick effect, detach a material from this card and target up to two Medolce cards in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and if you do, shuffle up to that many cards your opponent controls into the deck. Oh. And if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent and sent to your graveyard, non, return non to the deck. targeting shuffle pack, by the way. Yeah. Much like the wow. other, the other one is a non-targeting shuffle on your turn. This is the same thing for your opponent's turn. Whoa! Yeah, they yeah they really didn't go outside the box to come up with the card design. They're, They're just gonna... like this card should be a quick effect. They're gonna print these as commons for us, man. I mean, probably yeah. It's gonna well, stab well. me in the back. Yeah. But yeah, this is effectively is given uh, light to the fact that they were getting reprinted in that OCG set. Yeah. Ah. Here we go. Uh, then they get a link three. Oh, uh, it's a three? Damn. Yeah. Uh, Medolce Moongard Meow Karong. Two more usable than the other one. Oh. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, two plus effect monsters, including a Medolce, so technically generic. Um, if this card is Link Summoned, add a Medolce card from your deck to your hand. Uh, you can target one monster in your graveyard, can't activate non Medolce effects for the rest of the turn, also special summon a Medolce monster from your hand, and if you do, shuffle that target into the deck. The issue is that. Ah, uh, no, it, it's fine. You would have already mm. locked yourself to Medolce's by the time you get to this point. I just don't think it's super necessary. I think you'd, you're you already burned out of resources by the time you're getting to a Link 3. So, like, you'd rather just not. Mm. It's okay. Like, you can have it in there as an extra card, and if you need a clear board, you can clear board. But, but look, it's, I, uh, this is probably an on-turn oh, 3 try to kill card. Kitty cat. It's so cute. It is some little, some little fucking Kitty things. cats. Cat egg things. Meow. They're edible. Uh, <laughs> Just like it... real cats. <laughs> <laughs> then? Uh, then we move on to a trap, Medolce Dessert. Target two effect monsters on the field, including one Medolce monster. Return those monsters to the hand or extra deck. Then special summon a Medolce from your hand or extra deck with attack equal to or less than the return monster's total original attack. If a Medolce card or cards is returned to your oh, from your graveyard to your deck and or extra deck, while this card's in your graveyard, uh, attach this card to one disease monster mm -hmm. you control as material. If we lose lights, we lose lights. But again, this is decent. Decent um, support. Uh, it I does still, scare me. I don't want Medolce to be good. It'd be good to have the, like, the two traps there, because it was, it's so much better than playing knights as your second trap. Yeah. You just take the knights, get rid of it, put in this. Scrolling back up, I don't I'm know. gonna pretend I know what you're talking about. I've Knights is a touched. counter trap that very specifically requires you to control one of them for it to even resolve. Okay. It's you just played it going first because you wanted to have a second trap card that you could get. Okay. Instead, don't worry about it now. Okay. Don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Uh, and then they also revealed that Val Monica are getting a link two. Maybe I should play Medolce. Mm, what tomorrow? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'll Tuesday. Fun. Put it in no, shifters. Tomorrow. Oh, mm. please fuck off. No, please no. Uh, anyway, um, so Valmonica getting a Link 2, you know, that deck that everyone likes and yeah. knows. You've already um, read too much of this card. Yeah. Uh, it is unaffected while you have six or more of the resonance counters. You're probably not getting that many, but anyway. Um, for each level four Valmonica you control, it gains one additional attack during each battle phase. It has 3k. Okay. It's not too bad. He's still reading this card. I am. Uh, and if your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters, negate the summon if you do destroy that monster or monsters, then remove three resonant counters. For a bad deck, it's not bad. One of you better have appreciated that. One of you. <laughs> I'm sure one of them would have. It's at this point I'd like to point out that... Wait, they're, they're the Pendulum archetype, yeah? yeah. Would you not rather just make Beyond the Pendulum or Electromite? Oh, well, this, this is the thing. Uh, they're not that good. <laughs> yeah. They, they can't do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How do you think they're going to get to this link to? They're getting new stuff. It's women cards. They'll always get stuff. They did very specifically make a point of featuring them on the, uh, mm -hmm. the, the anime video. Oh, yeah. I like the anime video. We've, we've spoken about that. Age. Wait. Never mind. <laughs> I like <laughs> some of the anime videos. Some. What? We're talking... Which like Zeus. Oh, wait, no. You're thinking of a different archetype. It wasn't Val Monica. Mm. That was oh, um, Sulfur Cord. Sulfur Cord. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought they were the same thing. I mean, they are yeah. pendulum women, but no. Oh, I forgot the pendulum women. <laughs> I'm going to go all anime boy and you can go, uh, there's actually quite a difference between I the genuinely two. I genuinely just thought they were the same, like, they mm -hmm. were meant to be the same, like, you could mix them together. Yeah. And... Nope. Huh. 
Actually, so they're both music goes, based. They're both music based monsters. women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, you'd think they're the same, but no. Huh. I'm almost certain there's a Team Sorceress video where they probably do the one deck versus the other. I'm not going to go looking for it. Fine. No. Although you did look for their ban list reaction. Yeah, because it was great. <laughs> what? Linkaribo! <laughs> I can't believe they hit Linkaribo. Oh my god. I don't even know if he's heard of a Snake Eyes cut. Uh, but anyway, um, so uh, we got the box art for the OCG Animation Chronicle set that's coming out uh, later this year. And it hints at two of the other archetypes that are going to be getting support. Uh, so there's an Allure Queen card and a Performage card. Um, which is uh, from the anime. Uh, there's a bunch of anime cardish things that will sort of allude to what their effects could be. But Typically we'll an probably animation know... chronicle, if that is the case. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll know more about that soon, uh, yeah. but that's coming out later. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, they also get uh, a new uh, quarter century collection. This one featuring a... Quartzy Obzi? Quart yeah, Quartzy Obzi. Uh, but they also get alternate arts of polymerization, and it's GX polymerization, yeah. Well, it's it... meant to be GX polymerization. Sure. It's like flame wing man and burst energy Is or it? whatever. Uh, huh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's oh. a Apex Avian and burst energy tricks. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then a synchro era of one for one with. Klebold Hedgehog looking like he's dead in the background. And, and Sonic, Chick. Sonic Chick going... Eee! Sonic Bird. Sonic Chick. Sonic Chick. You should know, you were playing Sonic Chick uh, stall deck. Yeah, Sonic Chick Control. When? Yeah. What? Huh? Control. Well, instead of getting Halka Firebrakes, they gave us Scrambled Egg, which summons Sonic Chick from deck. So I made Sonic Chick Control. We see you the same. It can always attack directly. So you attack it with Moon Mirror, attach it with Moon Mirror Shield. And, Is that uh, what that did? Yes. Fun oh, fact, uh, if you attack directly, mm. uh, Mimirisha will change this attack to 100 because it will always just do 100 damage. You will deck your opponent out before you that, can win the game. That's not how that works. Is it? That's Don't how if, Master if it battles works. A, it's, if it battles a monster. I think it's if it battles. No, if it battles a monster, it matches that and then gives it 100 more. It's okay. not that it does 100 damage no matter when it attacks. I think it's literally just that Sonic Chick has 100 mm -hmm. attacks. That Master Duel was very poorly oh. coded. I legitimately think that it's just that Sonic Chick has 100 attack. Nah, it has 300 attack. Yeah, it has 300. Then maybe it is poorly coded. Thanks. So yeah, what? it's meant to battle something and yeah. then increases attack to its attack plus 100. That's the whole point and it's of battling something that's zero. <laughs> so therefore, your life points aren't a thing. It battles. Why couldn't it? No, why couldn't it just be the opposite where it goes to 8,100 and does game? That would be fun. I like Why that. couldn't it have been coded that way? Because they bad. <laughs> Ideas, Konami. Ideas. And then we yes. also get a hint at a V jump. Change the rulings. A hint at a V jump promo that's coming out. Um, so it's a bunch of Karibos. Um, Hear me out. This is Effect Veiler. It's just an Effect Veiler alt art. But two. Because Karibo is Effect Veiler. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Only if you Ain't have ever a... seen the show? Only if you have a thousand eyes. Yeah, that one has a thousand. It's got maybe twenty. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> twenty is Name a thousand. Name one monster with more than twenty eyes. <laughs> thousand eyes. <laughs> Get the card and count. Which one? Oh god. It says it's thousand eyes. Yeah, but there's definitely not a thousand eyes there. I don't know. Maybe they're just. I hidden. got you there. Maybe they're just hidden. <laughs> but okay. speaking of hand traps, you like, oh, from the grave, be like ah. Oh, I don't care if they have a Discord. Where's the link that I need? Go on. Is it the first link? It's really hard to discover links in here. Is this one on one? No, that's the same one. Ah! Uh -oh. I hate all of this. He's pressing buttons. I am pressing buttons because I can't find the you link that I'm looking for. You should close the tabs as you're done with them. I should. Growing pains of Jake learning how technology works. It's not learning technology, it's learning iPads. I fucking hate iPads. They're yeah. fucking useless. Jake the other day. Yeah, at work we prefer we to use iPhones because iPads are hard. No, it's just that they're awkward. You're standing there with an iPad. It looks stupid. Mm. Try harder. I think it looks more professional than... Yeah. I'm sorry, let me text. Yeah. Anyway. Jake I just wants to be able to play Pokemon Go. I mean, sometimes. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we get 
light and darkness dragon support. So they get a fusion. Still mandatory, by the way. Yeah, still mandatory. Uh, so, um, the negate. drops its attack awesome. by a thousand to negate anything. Um, the idea is that you have cards that neither player can respond to to be able to do stuff. Super poly. Outs this card immediately. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. True. Yeah. Hey, maybe I should play going. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, the Nothing? support's not yeah. amazing. Hayden didn't come up with any ideas there. I like Super Poly, it's a good card. Most of the time. Sometimes. Yeah. But not all. Occasionally. Sometimes. Yeah, it's not amazing, but you know what? It's all the support that I want to see for dragons moving forward. They've lost two of their negates. I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah. Except for the part where they now just make Dispater instead. Is that... Yeah, it's well, the I'm not ten. what that card is. Oh, I have that. Pistol card. the Spader. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I don't give a fuck about it's that. Also, in the gate. <laughs> I should sell my. Only if it shuffles back, you're banished. So yeah, just don't banish don't. anything. Surprise. Oh. They just play Runic Guts. Oh. oh, they haven't done that, have they? Yes. Ugh, oh, it's have... so boring. Everything plays a Runic. It's. Ah. Yeah. They really need to get that archetype yeah. the fuck out of here, hey? They just have to ban Falcon. <laughs> or at least limit it. Just the tip. The tip is fine. <laughs> Come on, Jake. We're giving you all the banter we can to stall here while... <laughs> it's not giving me the link. But anyway, um, the last one I want to discuss before we move on to questions is a new hand trap uh, that was ah. announced a little while ago. Um, oh, because wow. the link it's is buried real. somewhere in this... It did bring up the link anyway and it just be mistranslated like the other three times they've tried to translate this card. Yeah, so the current translation of the card uh, would say basically discard it and for every time your opponent normal special summons from the hand, you draw a card and then... Oh, that card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're thinking of a different card. Yeah. Which I will... No, nah, I'll hold off on doing that. There's another hand trap, but it's been mistranslated like 17,000 times. It's a hand trap for hand traps. Yeah. Yeah. Except it's been... But not then locks you out of being able to play anything that's good at the moment. <laughs> yeah, that's the current translation, which could be wrong. Anyway, uh, the hand trap I was talking about was a little jellyfish guy. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that guy. So yeah, every time you print a normal special from the hand, magazine. you draw a card, yeah. and then during the end phase, you uh, shuffle back if. Um, if you have seven or. Four if you have you, six, you shuffle or... back the hand size. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Versus yeah. like what your opponent has on board. Kind of. Yes. Yeah. Still, you shuffle back the hand size. It's, just it's like if you have six cards more than your opponent has on board at the end, shuffle back until you have mm. six or more. It's it's fine. It's fine. If they leave their board as huge, you keep all your cards. If they condense it, you shuffle for hand size. Yeah. Oh, well, you kept your seven best cards. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Except it's it? random. Oh, it's random? Yeah. Ooh. That's been an updated okay. translation since okay. the last time I saw it. No, yeah. it was always random. Really? Uh, yep. Damn. Anyway. Mm. I mean, it still gives you a better chance of seeing Imagine better cards. It shuffles back all of your bricks. Mm, that would be insane. I mean, well, that would... No, imagine you keep all the bricks, sorry. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Imagine that. You have, like, an okay hand, you drop this hand trap, and then after you shuffle back, it's so much worse. You're just like... Mm. Uh -oh. Draws driver. Puts back the others. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need you anyway. I mean, ideally, you're drawing other hand traps in the midst of this anyway. Mm. and you're like dropping those and then ideally you're not shuffling back. The interesting part about its text is that it says you can't use any other of that archetype's effect for the rest of the turn. So potentially we're getting a whole raft of hand trappy jellyfishy jelly things. Ooh. New ghost girls. Jelly yeah. hand trappies. <laughs> jelly hand trappies. Jelly Holy hand shit. trappies, what? A jelly hand sure. trappy shifter. Yeah. A Give jelly, us a jelly hand, hand trappy, trappy troll. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> oh god. Hear me out. Okay. We now refer to them all as jelly hand trappies. <laughs> From here on out, every no. viewer of this podcast refers to that guy as jelly hand trappies. Quartzy rarezies and jelly hand trappies. Yes. No. Perfect. Don't listen to Ben. I can't wait to pull a quartzy rarezies jelly handsy trappy. <laughs> 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 we repeat you here. <laughs> <laughs> We are the foremost podcast for all your Yu-Gi-Oh! news. 
about jelly hand trappies. Yes. Uh, but moving on to our Discord, if you weren't aware, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, so, I believe there's only the two questions this week, neither of which are from Hayden. Rude. Uh, I'm uh, sorry. How dare you! I can't believe you wouldn't ask us anything. It's almost like you didn't I'll ask you. a question next week. How does that Good. sound? Too late! I don't know what to ask, though. That's right. you have a week to think of something. Oh, okay. uh, so, first no, question this week... Your poll. <laughs> Oh, yeah, true. Uh, so first question this week comes to us from IR, cool guy. Uh, do you think three Terratop might be the sleeper right. of the list? Uh, setting up free monster negates in Gossip Shadow before you can even normal summon seems scary. It's pretty great. Uh, yeah, three yeah. Terratop is wonderful. It is, it really is. It's really nice. Garone? Mm. Just... Hand trappy? <laughs> Jellyfish? It's not a jelly hand trappy. <laughs> Why not? I'm trying to think of a word for searching that starts with W. Wookie? <laughs> <laughs> it's a windy wookie boy. <laughs> windy whoopsie lad. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh it's like god. a tomboard is windy wacky man. Yeah. <laughs> windy wacky man. <laughs> windy. Okay. You search it and you're wacky on the board. Done. True, windy wacky. We. <laughs> <laughs> oh um. god. Okay. Uh, next question comes to us from Jesse. Um, actually, no, it doesn't because it was just about the um, the jellyfishy. Oh. Ah, boo. Remember? Well, actually, oh yeah, no, this is Maxi too. Yeah, uh, yeah. What were we calling them again? Jelly hand trophies? Jelly hand trappies, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep going to put fish in there, and fish has no business in that word. Get it out of it's here. It's a jelly hand trappy. Gen jelly hand trappy, yes. Uh, and the last question comes from 6i6. Uh, yeah, six six. Uh, two questions, actually. Mm. Uh, what was the biggest lie you were told as a child? I have a couple. Um, let's go with one that I still haven't been able to disprove that is a lie, but I'm almost certain it's a complete fucking lie. Okay. Uh, Interesting. The town that I grew up in was designed by the person that designed Canberra. What was the town you grew up in? Oak Flats. Oh, oh I have, hey, you grew I up have, in Oak Flats. Yeah. I have heard this. I have heard this. Huh. Okay. Maybe it's not a complete lie. Maybe because they're both flat? Maybe. I, his reasoning was it's all straight lines, like Canberra, and then I went to Canberra and I was like, this ain't straight lines. Yeah, there's a lot of straight that. lines here, but there's a big circle in the middle of it. <laughs> yeah, there's no circle in Oak Flats. No. Mm. Mm. There is a... Depends which part of Oak Flats. No, there's no circles. Bridge Only Avenue. squares. Yeah, it's around the um, <laughs> Bridge Avenue's a big circle. <laughs> uh, lie I was told as a child. Hey, what lie were you told as a child? I don't know. All people were nice. That's a big lie. <laughs> That's a big lie. Yeah. I'll sue. Jake's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Jake's fine. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> Just don't piss me off. Um, exactly. Veggies are good for you. They are good. For Look you. at me now. The picture of good health. <laughs> this is the moment when Jake adds himself on the podcast as yeah. not having ever eaten a veggie. <laughs> It's not exactly true. I just have a very finite amount of vegetables I will eat, and I don't go out of my way to eat them. Look at you now. I know. I'm, I am a picture of good health. Um, I feel like I had another thing now that I've maybe been proven true that, that what I always thought was a lie was true. Okay. Um, what else was I told as a, as a wee laddie? That's um, a wee laddie. He's, he's, he's on it. He's on it. Um, I don't remember. Surely there's other things. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of shit I was lied about. The yeah, only, just... like, we found out about Santa not being real because my mum put a um, Christmas present under the tree from Santa two weeks early. Okay. It's a good thing that I mark these kids as uh, age restricted. Yeah. These videos, not, what do you say, mean? not made for kids, that's it. What do you mean? Santa is real. Also, the internet's a thing. If they're finding out that Santa's not real from us, then what else are they looking at? Yeah, why? <laughs> Nothing. Just sitting there watching Cocomelon. Cocomelon. God damn it, how dare you? <laughs> We're going to get copyright strikes. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> what? You have young nieces and nephews, don't you? Surely you've heard of what Cocomelon is. My nephew watches Bluey. 
accepted. I mean, that's one he's of also them. like <laughs> just about to turn two. He doesn't oh. really sit and watch TV. He plays. Coco well, then yours is one of the good ones because every other yeah. kid that I've had to deal with, like my friends' childrens and my nieces, it's yeah. like they keep screaming until you put on either Bluey or Coco Well, I have my nephew just doesn't watch TV. Yeah. Parents, good parents, good parents. My <gasps> sister will put on the well, TV and then watch in the night garden. Live typing. Like, oh my god. She's she's yeah. watching in the night garden, and I'm like, ah, huh, I see. He's he's definitely watching this. You're just watching this. <laughs> she's like, yeah, Eagle Pickle did this. I was like, okay. Eagle Pickle. Wow, oh, I love in the night garden. Well, I love the important distinction. <laughs> uh. Well, currently, last question. We do have a live typer uh, from 6 r 6 Will live uh, Tempai Dragons live up to the hype? Is Why is there so much mm, hype around them? No. They're, there's a lot of hype around them because people just don't want to play fire. Even fire though Tempai so, is very much fire. It is fire. Yeah, I know. But they don't want to play fire fire. Fire fire? Yeah. They just want to play fire, not fire fire. Yeah. They're willing to go hail, attack. Yes. Um, oh, Jelly Hand Trap is going to be so good when it comes to Tempai. Yeah. But Hayden finish this point after yeah. I already cut him off once. It's fine. Uh, I think it will be fine. Like, it's doing so well in the OCG because no one knows how to counter it really. Like, it doesn't have the right counters. I don't know. Maybe. In the TCG, we just know it's good, so we'll play around it. It's. I don't know. It is going to be the kind of deck where, like, yeah. if everyone knows what to do against it, it's yeah. going to kind of suck. Yeah. So, mm. everyone's going to be on their toes. They'll, it'll, I reckon there'll be a couple of events where it does really, really well because everyone will, like, hell, they'll have a YCS where no one plays it and it does shit. And then it'll be the next YCS yeah. and everyone stops oversighting for it and then it'll yeah. be good again. It's just the. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I suppose what the biggest deck issue. was like that. There's a lot so. of decks like that. Uh, Unchained? Was it Unchained? There was one that wasn't, it wasn't too long ago, it ended up winning a YCS. It was Flounderies. Oh, oh yeah. Because everyone yeah, stopped okay. siding to be able to beat Flounderies, and then Flounderies just showed up and destroyed everyone. Yeah, okay. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see another bird in my life. Don't open the blinds. <laughs> Greg might be out there. <laughs> oh yeah, Greg. Gregothy. Yes. Um, we have a cockatoo named Gregothy. Oh. He comes and lands on the balcony. He's not there. Well, I can't see him. Uh, and now the last question comes from Ragai. Whoa. What are some upcoming decks that don't have hype behind them but could still perform well? Mm, um, perform well. The, the Vados deck could do something. <laughs> don't know what it is yet, but yeah, it could do it. Something. It can mm. build spell lock. True. Lightsworn could also do something. I like Lightsworn. I hope Lightsworn does something. I really do. I love Lightsworn. It's going to be fun. That's why we put you on the Lightsworn that side. Thank you. No, it's because you forgot to swap them over before we started. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, Lightsworn could Red do really well. Um, and by that junction, Tier Element could do well again. Yeah. Um, but that hasn't really Ooh. lost its hype since the ban list. It's just the fanboys are always there. Yeah. Um, Except me. No more tier, please. I put three tier cards in. Tier's fine now because it's not milling your own shit. Yeah, but it's still tier. It's fine. Mm, Whoops. Okay. My bad. I milled cards that were good. Oh. I win. Okay. You're about to do that in Light Sword. Light Sword, yeah. And? I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm saying that's what I'm going to say. Just combine them both. There. But, there. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, awesome. I'm just playing the three card engine. Just the three fuses. Okay. Don't need Understandable. Them. Don't need them. Um, Fiend Spam could also do really well. Illusions. Mm, they're fine. They're okay. They could do good. Could they? They haven't really got anything to give them support other than. They have fusions. They have battle for a Yeah, but they, they've not gained anything. They, they literally get a secret in this set that searches any illusion monster. Oh, yeah, they get that. So they're more consistent. Oh, they just get a still, rotor, you know? Yeah, but you still Orally. have to discard to do the thing. Yeah, it's Like, fine. they don't gain anything yeah. from it. They just gain consistency. It's nothing new. Sure. It would be good against decks that need the battle phase. 
Like We've got against Tempai. Because it can't attack over them. Yeah. Or like Summon an illusion in defense position. Pass. Yeah. What do you do then? Make Dragion once you've traded with a friend. That <laughs> pops. Fair. It do. What is mm. going on with that line? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. We ne- I'm going to have to replace him at some point. Oh. They've done well. Yeah, look, they've done well, but like, it's a lot of money and like, people still haven't subscribed to our dis- uh, Patreon. Yeah. A lot no one's subscribed to the Patreon that definitely exi- no exists one. down below. Nobody. Well, definitely exists. Maybe I should be the first. Maybe you should. If you want to beat me, subscribe to their Patreon. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely down in the description. Uh huh. It's right there. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favorite. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. Bye. Bye.